Designer babies may soon be possible. A team of researchers at Oregon Health and Science University have successfully performed the first known attempt to create genetically modified human embryos. Gene editing using CRISPR technology is capable of finding a target DNA sequence and replacing it with a desired sequence. Once injected, the guide RNA in the CRISPR-Cas9 system seeks out the target DNA before the Cas9 enzyme binds and cuts it. The void in the DNA strand is then filled with the desired sequence. CRISPR technology theoretically makes it possible to modify the genomes of any living thing on Earth. Researchers in China have previously conducted trials using CRISPR technology in cancer patients, but the results revealed a major problem. The technique can cause unwanted mutations in other parts of a DNA sequence. However, the Portland team is confident that it is possible to avoid such errors. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Keep watching for more stories on advances in genetic engineering. New science breakthrough could allow humans to be grown in labs. UK scientists have successfully grown a mouse embryo in a lab, which indicates this method could be eventually applied to growing artificial human embryos. To grow a mouse embryo, researchers extracted the rodent's embryonic stem cells and extra-embryonic trophoblast stem cells. These are the cells that form the placenta. The two types of cells are mixed, placed on a 3D scaffold, then grown in a tank of chemicals that mimics the conditions inside the womb. The cells grew to form a structure that very closely resembled a natural mouse's embryo after 96 hours. The Francis Crick Institute in London was granted permission to genetically modify human embryos last year. This is the first time such a procedure has been approved by regulators anywhere in the world. Scientists are trying to grow human organs in pigs. A team of scientists from the University of California, Davis, are attempting to produce human pig embryos in order to grow human organs in pigs. To grow a human organ, such as a pancreas, in a pig, one must first remove the DNA that is responsible for growing a pig's pancreas from a fertilized pig embryo using a technique known as CRISPR gene editing. A void is created after the gene editing, and human-induced pluripotent stem cells are then injected into the embryo to fill the void. The human pig embryo, known as a chimera, is then implanted into a sow and is allowed to develop for 28 days. Then the pregnancy is terminated and the tissue removed for analysis. The chimera would develop into a normal pig, but one with a human pancreas that would be ready to be harvested for transplant. Human-induced pluripotent stem cells are adult cells that have been reprogrammed into stem cells. They can develop into any tissue in the human body, including corneas, lungs, hearts, livers, and kidneys. With pigs serving as biological incubators for human organs, scientists could potentially grow any organ when needed. However, a major concern is that the human stem cells could migrate to the pig embryo's brain, which would make it somewhat human-like. The research is highly controversial, as many are worried that growing human organs in pigs may lead to a new source of animal abuse, despite the fact that it may help to ease the shortage in organ donations in the U.S. New controversial study may lead to genetically modified humans. Britain's Human Fertilization and Embryology Authority has approved a study that may one day lead to designer babies, but that's not the plan right now. Dr. Kathy Niekan, a molecular biologist at the Francis Crick Institute in London, will lead the genetic experiment. The study will use fertilized eggs that are donated by couples with the hopes of better understanding fertility problems. Researchers will use a new genome editing procedure called CRISPR Case 9 to turn genes on or off. This process uses specially programmed RNA to cut and remove snippets of faulty DNA to be replaced with healthy DNA. The embryos will be monitored over the course of seven days as they grow from a single cell to about 250 cells. Critics say this could be the first step toward genetically modified humans. Dr. Niakon told The Guardian, it's up to society to decide what is acceptable. Science will merely inform what may be possible. 
say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Chinese scientists modify genes of human embryos. Scientists worldwide have renewed calls for a halt to controversial human embryo research after a team of Chinese scientists published a paper on the genetic editing of human embryos. Researchers at Sun Yat-sen University in Guangzhou, China, hope to modify a gene in chromosome 11 responsible for beta thalassemia, a genetic mutation that reduces production of hemoglobin and results in a lack of oxygen in the body. The embryos used in the research each had an extra set of chromosomes after being fertilized by two sperms, meaning they could not result in a live birth. The research involved injecting the embryos with the enzyme complex CRISPR-Cas9, which splices DNA at specific locations. Researchers can then modify the gene causing beta thalassemia by programming the enzyme complex to target that specific gene. Of the 86 embryos injected with the enzyme, only 71 survived the initial 48-hour period needed for CRISPR to replace the DNA. Of the 54 embryos that were tested, researchers found that only 28 had successfully spliced, with a fraction of those 28 containing the replacement genetic material. The research team found a surprising number of mutations cropped up as a result of the CRISPR-Cas9 complex acting on parts of the genome other than the target area. Critics say the procedure could produce unknown effects on future generations as all modifications would be inheritable. <laughs>